boys and girls, it's Miss Reynolds with Bored, Better Off Reading Every Day. Today's book is That's Life, Where Will Life Take You? Written by Amy Dykeman and illustrated by Corey Dorenfeld. Knock, knock. Who could it be? Oh, that's life. Life happens when you least expect it. Go on, take a look at your life. Just brace yourself. Life can be a little... Weird. Slap. And life doesn't come with instructions. You have to write your own, but life doesn't wait. Whoa. You never know where life's gonna take you or what life's gonna throw at you. But life is what you make it. Life's a journey, not a destination. Right when you think you have life all figured out, you don't. Life is full of surprises. When life knocks you down, get back up. When life stinks, shake it off. Life will be sweet again. When life gives you lemons, very funny life, Life has a sense of humor. Sure, life can be tough and sometimes life hurts. Youch, call it a life lesson. Life goes on, so go on after it. Don't waste a second. Life is short, but crash. Life, uh, finds a way. And life gets messy. When you need to clean up your life, life doesn't always cooperate. Your whole life can flash before your eyes. Life, yes, can be crazy. You might not know what you're going to do with your life, but when life finally settles down, you can appreciate life for what it is. Life is beautiful. Life is beautiful. Still weird, but beautiful. So love your life, because when you do, your life will love you back. Have the time of your life. Have the
the time of your life. Have the time of your life. Have the time of your life. Have the time of your life. The end, boys and girls, of That's Life. by Amy Dykeman and illustrated by Corey Deerfeld. Meet life, fun, messy, and more. Where will life take you? Boys and girls, I chose this book. It is the first book that I've taken out of the library in months. I would say since February when we went into lockdown on March 11th. And all the books that you've seen me with are either books that I bought or books that I borrowed from little friends. So it was my pleasure to be able to go to the library today and take out seven books. At our library, you are allowed to take out 35 books um, but just not by the same author. So I did go to the library today for the first time in months and it was like a kid in a candy store. It was like Christmas in July. Boys and girls, it was one of the best times I've ever had. I took out all these books out of the library. All these books out of the library. I went book crazy out of the library. Yes, I did. Boys and girls, I think sometimes we don't realize how good we have it until it's gone. And for me, that was the library. I used to go to the library and do all kinds of things. I would take kids to the library for different things that they would have there. I would go to the library to take out books, make copies, use the computer, rent movies. The library has so many different functions. So if you have a chance to go to your local library now that they're open, go ahead and do so. There is so much fun. The first step when you walk in for my library was to sanitize your hands as soon as you walk in. Then you go in, everybody says hello to you, you go where you're going to be taking out your books. If you're going to be touching a lot of different books, they do ask that you bring your own gloves or they give you a pair of gloves. Of course, you're always wearing your mask. And that's exactly what I did when I went to the library. Got my books, got my mask, got my hand sanitizer, and I was good to go. This is kind of how it went. Checking out some books. Yes, I am. And then you're done. Protecting the librarian, protecting the other people, protecting yourself. No big deal. Boys and girls, it is Miss Reynolds with Board. Better off reading every day. And it has been my pleasure to read this book to you. It's actually my pleasure to read to you anytime I read to you but especially today, because I was able to read a book from my public library. You have no idea how happy that makes me. It's a small thing to some, but a big thing to me. And I will see you again soon, where we will be doing what? Better off reading every day. Bye.